cents and two percent and one percent and one cent cents on, on the top of cent makes dollars, you know. Gus Ashy has been in the restaurant business in Anderson County for more than 12 years. He remembers the response after Anderson City added a hospitality tax to the bill. It affects our customers and a lot of time they complain about it more than we do because we have to add it on and then you have to add the cost of living on. They complain, which I don't blame them. Now the county council wants to follow in the city's footsteps. Well, the city's done very well with it. The Wren Park projects, the skating rink they've had down there, the, the beautiful job they did on Lindley Park. So the, they've utilized their money very well. They proposed a 2% hospitality tax to add to the receipts for customers of all the restaurants in the county with prepared food and drink. You're already paying it in the city. So uh, again, it just gets passed on to the customer. The new tax already passed a first vote, but before they make two more, they want to hear from everyone on how to move forward. I don't want to force this down people's throats. That's, that's not being a representative. That's more like being a dictator, maybe. And especially since we're going to ask them to use their money to do this with. The council wants to use the money to improve tourist and recreational spots. They say in the past they haven't had big turnouts to get the input they need. That's a handful of people telling all the rest of the county how they're going to live. And so far, leaders say they've heard positive reaction, but that there are some, like Gus, who don't approve. I don't know what they keep using the money for. It's going to bring some tourists. I'm all for it. <laughs> I don't think this is what's going to bring tourists to 